Hi, this is Bill Kingsley with Team Kingsley. We've added many new features to our Hydra input-output accessory for the BDOS Sprite video player. Some of the new modes are for our kiosk, museum type things, and we've also added many new game or puzzle modes. Now you think game puzzle modes would only be for escape rooms, but they could be used in museums, they could be used in advertising campaigns to get people involved in the product by playing a little game. Well, we've added many different types of game modes. Some of them where you have to do the inputs in a certain order, some may be in any order mixed up but have to be a certain number. Some of them have to be a combination of inputs in a certain pattern. Some of them can be multiple steps of combination inputs and patterns. Many of them have the option of being with interrupt files or without interrupt files. Many have the option of how the outputs respond, whether the output stays on while the video file is playing that's associated with the input triggered or whether you trigger an input and the output just briefly pulses on and off to be used to trigger some other device. Or the output could stay on and as each input is triggered, additional outputs will come on sort of as a bar graph to show progress. Many of these have adjustable amounts of steps to complete. So the owner, or whoever installs this, can decide if you want two steps of inputs or all the way up to eight inputs to complete the game or puzzle. There's also a timer that can be used so that once the game is started, there's a certain amount of time to complete each step. When each step is completed correctly, the timer resets to full time it starts counting down until the next step is completed. If the timer expires, a game reset happens and the player will need to begin again. Now you can use the timer or not use it. There's settings for that and you can set the time from a few seconds all the way up to an hour. This demonstration we're going to show here is a mode that wants eight inputs all in order and it's in the reset state right now. Now the, the inputs can be push buttons, they can be toggle switches, they can be sensors, can be industrial sensors. The inputs are rated 30 volts DC, so you could use industrial capacitive sensors, position sensors, magnetic sensors, light beam sensors, and then the outputs are also rated at 30 volts DC. So you can drive relays directly or small lamps. Of course, you'd use a relay to drive a heavier current or a high voltage load. So now, again, this one is in the reset mode. It's ready to be enabled. The enable can be by the game operator with a remote switch push button, or you could have a push button for the player, or you could just hardwire this input zero. But input zero will make the game ready to begin. And you notice there's a different video file now. And you, you can make whatever video file you want for these. And then output nine is turned on, indicating the game is ready to start. So again, this one's looking for eight inputs in order. So we start with one. And you get a video file for that in an output light. And in, in this mode, the output stays on while the file is on. two, three, four. Now, if they go out of order, they're gonna get file nine. You can put whatever file you want in the sprite. I've made this one, it says fail, try again. The yellow light will come on, indicating that it's time to start over. So we'll start with one, two, just go up the line here. And again, you can set these outputs to the, you could have them where they all stay on as they get set. Or just pulse off and on. 
it doesn't matter if you redo one it's already done is okay they, they can leave like if you're setting puzzle pieces on a magnetic sensor you can leave them in place so I've already triggered these and I'm not hitting them again it doesn't matter till I get to the one that's not done as long as I don't go out of order and then this one again is set for eight complete step inputs you can you can set it for shorter if you just want a few but once we do the last step we'll play file 10 for success and turn on output 10 for success now output 10 will remain on until a master reset occurs master reset is input number nine and this would probably be done by the game operator or owner but could have a push button here for the player to reset it so we'll reset that and it goes back to the game reset file and now it's ready to begin again so this output number 10 at success can also be used to start say if this was a second hydra that output could be used to make this next one ready to start if it was wired directly to there. So you could get directions now to, to start the next segment of the, the area. And you could put as many of these in line as you want to. And then you can reset them all together also. You can tie all of the master inputs together to one push button switch to reset all of them. You can reset all your hydras at once to, so that everything's ready to start. Now, if if for some reason a player had left a puzzle piece on a, a switch or a toggle switch on one of these inputs, this output 9 will flash off and on indicating that the game is not reset, it's not ready. So the, the owner or the player would have to remove the pieces, put them back to begin the game again. So we've got many different modes with many different options. We've thought of some new ones to add in as we go forward in the next couple of months. We'd also like to get your feedback if you'd like to give us your ideas or criticisms at support at teamkingsley.com or support at mediawiz.com. You can also download the manuals at teamkingsley.com or mediawiz.com to see all the new modes with version 4 firmware.